Welcome back to a new episode here in Swalby. In today's video, as you have seen in the title, I'm going to show you three cool flicker effects that you can do and you can add on your video. So I'm going to show you the first one, which is a pretty basic one. The second one is a little bit more like mix, more creative. And then the third one is a next level creative, I guess you could say, because it adds a few more little things and details. Okay, so let me just show you for the first one. There is actually a flicker effect effect here in open effects, but we're not going to use that because that one will require you to adjust keyframes and all that stuff. So the easiest way to do that is here you're going to go to the effects library and you're going to go to generators and then solid and you're going to add a solid color. You can play around, you can add whatever color you want. Usually it's either done with black or white, but there's no like it's not set in stone you can play around with it and see if you like something so the first, the way that it works is depending on the song you want to have a song that has a sort of like a like a hi-hat sound or something like that that you can sort of adjust and align your flicker with right so the way the simple way that it works is you you go and let's go we're just gonna use one keyframe so we're gonna go one keyframe and we're gonna cut it and then we're going to do the same thing so if you want to have like 10 flickers you need to do 20 cuts you so you need like whoops you need um depending on the amount of flickers you need like twice the amount of pieces here that you are cut the reason is that when you cut these every piece in between them you're gonna have to get rid of you can either deactivate them or you can just like erase them you can deactivate them by pressing d and then it will not show up there or you can simply erase it by pressing the delete button the erase on your keyboard and this one is what this is what it will look like with the simple simple flicker flicker and yeah the more you add you can also do like if you do two keyframes it's gonna be like a lot of times the songs have like build-ups so like you see in the intro here, this is a section that has a buildup and each section the flickers last a little bit longer. So there's like one, the first one lasts three keyframes, the second one two, and then the first one is only one keyframe. And that's how that's actually in the second video, in the second clip, the second effect that I want to show you. So that's the basic one. You simply add a solid color and cut the piece in between to have the flicker effect. For the second one that I did, it does have a build up. And one thing that I did was I mix it up. Instead of using a solid color, what you, you, we did was you're just gonna have the clip. You can use pieces from the same clip or from another clip from the same um, like video that you're producing or making. But what you wanna do is you're gonna cut pieces of a few different clips. And it doesn't have to be in order you can cut it anywhere because in this case what you do is we just mix sort of like a collage i guess you could say um so that it adds a little bit cool sort of like um what would you say it's a little bit more abstract because you're not really sure what is happening but you know that it's something is happening i don't know if I, that's easy to understand that explanation but yeah, so let me just cut all these pieces. We're doing the same process. I press Ctrl B to cut these clips. Okay, we have these and we're gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna bring this sort of like here and I'm gonna try to put them not in the same order that I cut them. So I'm gonna organize these a little bit and then I'm gonna put them in random places. So we're gonna start with this one. It's, few, it's, it's three keyframes in length and they don't all have to be the same length you can adjust you can have a few ones that last longer or shorter and then we're gonna bring this other one here and a key point is like the, the song that you have a key point is like depending on the song that you have the flicker effect it's going to work or not because without the song or a sound effect it doesn't really look like anything Okay, so we have these here and we're going to look at it to see how it looks like. Oh, we're going to have to render it a little bit. Let me just cut this. Okay, so let's look at it. 
So it sort of like looks like a glitch even. And if you have many different clips that are not even closer to this one, this one sort of looks like it's a, a, a glitch because it's from the same clip or from the same one. But if you add, if we add this guy right here that's walking into it, it's gonna add a little bit more different effect to it. But yeah, so depending on what in the intro, you will see that it has different uh, clips of it. So it looks a little bit different, but this, is a, this one looks a little bit like a glitch, but it also sort of is like a flicker effect. But instead of using the solid color, you are using the clips or different clips that you have. Okay, so for the third one, for the third one, we are doing something similar, but you're gonna see here, I have two clips. And what we are doing is, I'm gonna cut a section, oops, right here. We're gonna make a cut. We're gonna go two keyframes. Sorry about that. We're gonna go two keyframes every time. And we're gonna have three flickers. So we need to do six cuts or we need six pieces. Okay, so then each of these pieces, we're gonna keyframe. Uh, we're not gonna keyframe, I'm sorry. We're gonna increase the zoom that they have. So this first one is gonna have 1.1. This third one, and beware that I'm not deactivating these ones because I'm using the same one as the flicker effect, right? Then we leave this one as the base, as the default that it is. Then this one, we're gonna do at 1.2. And then this third one, we're gonna do 1.5, just to be a little bit bigger jump, okay. Then the next thing that I did for this one was, instead of having the, composite mo the composition mode here, you can play around with it. And I use color dodge so it shows the one the clip that is below and that adds a little bit of a cool effect to it i liked it and i do the same thing for all of these you can even add a different composition mode to each of them if you want and then the last thing that i did was i activated the dynamic zoom on each of these so for the first one it was in then for the second one i think it was also in if i'm not wrong let me just see yeah, and then for this third one, it was going out. Like, I is, is out of it. So let's look at it and see how that one looks. Yeah, so it just adds a little bit cool effect. And the more flickers you have, the, the cooler it's going to look. And it all depends on the song that you're working with. As you can see here with the previews, if there's no song, it doesn't really look like much. But if you have a song that you have that you can use to sort of time the flickers, that's great and that's how you would make it work awesomely and yeah so those are the three cool flicker effects that you can do in davinci resolve pretty easy you're not even going to fusion you're just simply working around and cutting a few pieces and adding a few transform effects or composition effects here in this section not even keyframes you can also play around if you want you can add more animations and stuff but yeah those are that's the basics of those three effects that you can do today and yeah so i hope that you like this video if you did comment down below if you didn't comment down below let me know why and that is pretty much it oh one thing if you have any idea or any request you can also let me know down in the comments i try to figure out always what you guys want and without further ado i just want to th say thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next video here in Suave.